Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Last time we left off, I actually started picking up the game again and playing it. And uh, we learned that uh, that the most likely person who could have known about the Black Moon Ladder, and actually the only one who knew about it, besides Damien Tenma, was his aide, Florent LaBelle. It's like, oh, big surprise. And we gotta figure out how to actually open the Forbidden Chamber, and we talked to Jinxie about it, and she said, some special mechanism. So let's look for clues, and the only way I can think about it is actually going to the uh, Fox Chamber again, seeing if we can find anything there. Or maybe not. I figured he was still gonna be in here. Can I talk to him? Oh, he already did. Uh, I don't think I can... Do I want to present anything to him? Let's, uh, move, let's move again. Let's go to the... Uh, Go to the foyer. No? Could ask for ideas. Not yet. Uh, I'm just gonna check out all the areas I haven't been to yet. Maybe I can find more clues somewhere, but... Uh, it doesn't look like it. Where was I? Here, I went all the way there. Did I finish talking the... What's her name? I did, did I? I did finish talking to Jinx, didn't I? Yeah. Maybe I can show her a key or something. Maybe she knows more. What's this? Uh, Sukumogami? That word? Sukumogami? A yokai that inhabits objects have been used for a really long time. The red demon and the uh, Sukumogami. What a strange combination. Is everything uh, to her some supernatural phenomenon? Probably. Uh... Does she know anything about a blackmail letter? Nope. Skip, 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 skip. Let's see then. Can I look into this key a little bit more? No. Hmm. Oh, let's go back to Fox Chamber. Maybe we can present it to... Fulbright here. Maybe, I don't know. Not sure what to do now. Oh no. Justice needs some backup sometimes too. So I don't mind you I don't mind you asking for help, but you should start by thinking things over yourself. After all, the road to justice starts with your own first step. <laughs> if you don't have any information to offer, you can just say so. Uh oh, Is there no, that's a save. That's nope. That's the thing there. Oh, oh, here we go. Notes. Okay, so show the demon statue of Jinxie, and we, and we gotta find LaBelle. Oh, thank these notes. Thank God for them. Okay, now I know what to do because they're pretty much telling me what to do. Um, did I do it in any other game? Like basically just straight up tell you. I mean, I know some games do like, yeah, maybe I should do this, but this one's like blatantly saying, hey, do this. I don't mind it. I mean, people have need help, and you know, hey, why not? Alderman Cuban made that statue. It's a token of uh, goodwill. I think it was meant to be for Ninetales Vale in Tenma Town. A token of goodwill? But the two yokai are fighting. Fighting? Oh, I see what you mean. The cup portion is missing. There's a cup portion? The statue... Ah, they're holding cup. It was originally de depicted the two yokai holding up a cup in celebration. But it sure doesn't look that way now, does it? Maybe a broken it was used to hit Mayor Tema on the head. That would explain it. I guess the only two people who knew that it was really that it really looked like that like Ludo. I guess the only two people who knew what it really looked like were the Alderman and I. Now it's just me, and the symbol of goodwill will be forever etched in my mind. Hmm, okay. That's interesting, then. So this would be goodwill, not fighting. So, is there anything else we should know about, know about Jinxie? No. That's about it. Oh! My bracelet, it's reacting! Jinxie, you wouldn't happen to be... Injustice we trust! Yikes! Ah! Uh, a ghost! Gah! Detective Fulbright, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, 
I have businesses, young lady, if you must know. Prosecutor Blackwell has asked me to question her. Question me? Sorry, not interested. Are you here to ask about the Holy Okai affair? Well, that's right. Specifically, we want to ask... Oh, but I can't tell you that, now can I? <laughs> oh, come on, please. We're partners in justice, right? No, no. Prosecutor Blackwell specifically told me my questions were of those of the utmost justice. I will not fall for your lies. In justice, we trust. The Twisted Samurai sure has him on a short leash. So you're not a ghost? Maybe some sort of urban troll then? Now come along, Miss Demma, to sit to the station with you. He took her away. Missed my chance to see what she was lying about. Well, at least I find out there's a secret mechanism for opening the chamber. Let's go check it out. I just hope they let us in now. Ah, I'm sure they will. So, there we go. I eventually figure out what I had to do by just looking it up, essentially. <laughs> But I got it. Whoa, okay. I thought something was wrong with my DS for a bit. I'm like, oh no, the color's jacked up. Oh, what an absolutely fabulous scent. I'm so glad I have these, uh, these carnations imported from England. Nothing but the finest will do. Perhaps I should pl place one aside our dearly departed alderman. Hey, it's Mr. LaBelle. Apollo, let's ask him about you know what. Oh yeah, before we search the fox chamber, we should ask him about the blackmail letter. Why, if it isn't the mayor's little lawyers, what do you want with me? Oh, um, uh, there's something we wanted to ask. What the hell? What's that ring coming from? You'll have to excuse me. Hello, LaBelle here. What the? Those things on our shoulders are cell phones? Yes, about that. You must forgive me. This whole matter with Mayor Tama has come to a, has been a complete nightmare. Where do you buy clothes like that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. surprise! This is my own special design. It's the ultimate in functional beauty. Functional beauty? Are you sure about that? It looks a bit unwieldy to me. Gah! <laughs> you simply don't have an eye for beauty. If having an eye for beauty means looking like this guy, I'd rather be blind. So, what do you want with me? Oh, yeah, this guy. I don't know. Both GC and Mr. Filch said they saw Tematoro. But what about you, Mr. LaBelle? If you were in the foyer, why didn't you see- Ah! <laughs> Very well, I admit it! That's right, Flora LaBelle saw the demon Tematoro. Hmm, so he did see something. Then why did you lie about not seeing him? I was simply trying to protect dear little Jinxie. Protect Jinxie? What do you mean? Why, don't tell me you haven't heard of that strange little habit of hers. Which one are you talking about here? The one where she wanders around making mischief without knowing what she's doing. Rumor has it she's possessed by Tamataro. That one's new to me. <laughs> well, there you have it. Anytime you hear about Tamataro sighting, Little Jinxie should be your prime suspect. Tell us more about that rumor. I think I'm having too much fun talking for this guy. So, what was that rumor about Jinxie? They say she's possessed. Not all the time, of course. It hits suddenly, then she starts wandering around doing strange things. Is that so? Although, come to think of it... When we first saw her, she was pretty much in a daze. Yep. Kinda creepy in a sense, too. That certainly would explain how she was acting earlier. Once she even put on a Tematoro costume and wandered around the woods at night. She did?
Ugh, I wish I'd never asked. Does she remember anything while she's possessed? Unfortunately, no. She doesn't seem to remember a thing during those episodes. Memory loss dur during possession. Hmm. Well, we experienced that now, haven't we? Come to think of it, her memory of the murder scene was quite fuzzy. I suppose that, too, was caused by her possession. Ah! Then maybe... <laughs> So you do understand that whole yokai business was entirely of her own making. Now wait a minute. O although that yokai evidence wasn't there until after she discovered a crime scene, did she leave those black feathers and tr strange tracks there herself? Apollo, let's ask Mayor Tema about Jinx's episodes next time we talk with him. Okay. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and present the uh, blackmail letter because apparently he was like... One of the very few who knew about it besides Tenma. No, present, damn it. What is that? It's the blackmail letter, but it wasn't sent to Alderman QB. It was sent to Mayor Tenma. And. Your point being. Someone took the letter from the mayor's briefcase and then placed it in the Alderman's pocket after he was murdered. Oh, you don't say. You wouldn't happen to be the one who made the switch, would you? After all, you're the only one who knew that the Blackman letter was in a briefcase. So naturally you- Ah! <laughs> Perhaps that shot of Kolo will make these scales fall from your eyes. Or my eyes fall from their sockets. Is it possible you would like to frame me as a potential suspect? What would make you raise such an outrageous allegation in the first place? Oh, uh, well... <laughs> My only crime is being born as beautiful as you see here. In other words, you have nothing! Now, let me show you what to do with this garbage. Nah, you can't destroy evidence like that! What do you mean I can't? I just did! <laughs> Feel a light lighter now? You just went on one well, you just went on one way trip to the top of my most annoying people ever list, buddy. Are we done with your silly questions now? I'm a very busy man, you know. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Hello, LaBelle speaking. Really? You wish to carry my new product at your store? Oh, but I'm afraid it's my private brand. It's not available to the public. What? Then I shouldn't have advertised it on TV. But I don't understand. As the embodiment of beauty, it is my duty to announce my good looks to the world. Stop the bus. I'm getting off. <laughs> Everyone wants my exclusive Je Suis La Belle brand products. It's the crown jewel of my collection, born of my long, restlessness pursuit of beauty. But now it's become so popular, it's been an absolute nightmare. You don't say. Well, they can't have it. It's just for me. It's not meant for you, peasants. Peasants? This is my latest product. I'm calling it Color Me La Belle. A dazzling hair color that can, you can wash off with just water. Guess that means you can't just you can't sweat. I have seven colors in all. You can find out more in my any in my commercials and magazine ads. And yet it's not available to the public. Great sales strategy there, genius. Come to think of it, Mr. LeBout, your hair color has changed since last time we met. <laughs> The little lady has quite a discerning eye. Here's a little sample. Consider it a gift for one who truly appreciates beauty. Oh, um... Apollo, what should I do? Better take it before you get a face full of cologne. Good point. Wow, thanks, Mr. LaBelle. Oh, this is gonna come in handy, I bet you five bucks. Uh... Okay. Okay, let's head over to the Fox Chamber. We still gotta find a secret mechanism for opening the Forbidden Chamber. 
Alright, and I guess that's all we can speak on that one. Just double check. Yep. So let's go ahead and move. See if we can find out. Oh boy. It's a little more tired than I thought I was. Whew. Here we go. Okay, let's find that secret mechanism for opening the Forbidden Chamber. Ooh, this is so exciting! I can't wait to see how it works. But do you really think the killer entered the Forbidden Chamber? We'll just have to open it to find out. We should see we should also see if there was any anywhere if there was anywhere the killer could have hidden this room. Okay, let's get started. I with that word. Epirate or rate? Oh, whatever. You, you guys are gonna say it in the comments anyway. I don't even know what the hell that was. Was that was that uh, was it Spanish? I don't think it was. Maybe it was, I have no idea. Whew. What to examine? Um I don't know, I guess we can start here. Still no keyhole, huh? Nope. Yeah, the door won't budge, just like those spiky bangs of yours. Well, all it takes is some water, but I don't think that would work on the door. Oh, I know! I'll break it down with a body slam! <laughs> I seriously thought you could do that. How do you know I haven't even tried? No, wait, don't! As much as you hate losing Athena, I think the door would win this match. Alright, so that didn't work. What is this? Examined apparently. I'm trying to see whatever what doesn't have a question mark. There's a carving of a nine tailed fox over the door, and the statues of him on either side. The way those two statues are glaring, it's like they're guarding the door from us. Come to think of it, there are two foxes in the folding screen as well. It can't be a coincidence, can it? Hey, the statue moves! Don't get carried away now. I mean, who knows? It might trigger a trap. <laughs> I can handle it. If a spear comes shooting my way, I'll snatch it out of the air. After all, I have the reflexes of a regular karate kid. I guess if you can catch something that fast out of midair, you can accomplish anything. Still, there might be something to the fact that these fox statues rotate. Maybe there's something around here that shows the position they should be in. Yeah, like, they mentioned a folding screen, so let me take a look at that. Well, he's looking to the left and right. Isn't that all there is to it? Two foxes standing back to back are depicted on, the elegant, on this elegant folding screen. Could this have something to do with a keyhole? Hmm. Wait a minute. Two foxes. There are two fox statues in the front of the Forbidden Chamber as well. Maybe the keyhole will appear if we do something to the folding screen. Hmm. But I don't see anything unusual about it. Well, it does have two foxes on it, and there are two fox statues in front of the door. Then maybe there's a clue somewhere in this room. Let's turn the whole place upside down. Oh, she's as excited as a kid in a candy store. Okay, so why don't we actually just rotate the statues then? Aren't they, wait, aren't they back to back? Or does this would be like flipped the other way? Let's check. Let's do this again real quick. Uh, is there another clue here? Hmm. I didn't see anything, but I guess I want her to take another look around. Oh well, let's just examine everything we can for a minute. Maybe the killer hid under this table. That would be a terrible hiding place. The alderman's body would have been right above. Hmm, maybe you're right. Guess I'll undersize a bit. Wait. Whew. Excuse me. There's something underneath the table. Let's check it out. There is? Oh, there is. Holy crap. All right. Oh, it's a piece of the, the statue. Hey, look, there's something down here. It looks like a piece of something. Only question is a piece of what? Hmm. Oh, wait, no. It might be a piece of the statue. Remember what Jigsy said? 
Yeah, but he used to be holding a cup depicting like a like celebrating something. The statue originally depicted you two yokai holding up a cup. It was a symbol of goodwill. So this piece broke off and rolled under the table? Alright. There we go. Well, I can't think of anywhere else to look. You find anything, Apollo? We'll never find a keyhole to the Fervent Chamber at this rate. There's something about that folding screen. You know how, how those fox edges in front of the Forbidden Chamber move? That screen might be a clue as to how we're supposed to position them or something. Hey, I bet you're right. Let's go over that screen with a nine-tooth nine tooth, nine tooth comb. Fine-tooth comb. What the hell's wrong with me? Um, I already kind of did, though. I mean, I guess we'll examine it again. A closer inspection. I think there's more to the screen than meets the eye. Let's check every last inch of it. Tap and slide the bottom screen, rotate the folding screen. I can also tap on some of interest to inspect it further. I can also zoom in, you can also zoom in and out to get a better look. Now let's check every last inch of it. Yep, I can zoom in. I can rotate it. There's a key on both sides. So, um... Oh, I have to move the cursor. Myself, I was like, huh, why can't I... There, there we go. It's a picture of a key. Hmm, that shape looks awfully familiar. Oh, I know! It's shaped like the Forbidden Chamber's key. Hmm, we're definitely getting warmer. Yeah, we definitely are. Okay, let's take even a closer look. An even closer look. What the hell's wrong with me? Yeah, you know what, guys? My... What time is it? I, I had this like I had a pause for a little while now, and I have absolutely no idea where the hell I am, I am in terms of uh, um. What I was gonna say progress or time, so I'm actually gonna end it here. I know it might be a little weird just to end it right here, but um, or can I? I can, no, I can, can I? Shoot, I don't think I can. I can I can say it right here. Okay, yeah, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and stop it right here, and um. We'll continue on with investigating the fox chamber and hopefully find the way the special mechanism works and just take it from there so as usual thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time for let's play phoenix Wright ace attorney dual destinies i'll see you guys later